hello everyone welcome back again so last time we have learned that how can we launch a url using a robot framework so today we will learn how we can deal with the different different kind of web elements uh, like text box buttons radio buttons chat box and etc so we will learn those today so before moving ahead please like share and subscribe the channel if you not yet subscribed and please press bell icon so that you can get the future notification of my latest videos so let's get started so uh, just now as you can see i have this open browser and close browser keywords i have this url linkedin.com so we will automate linkedin today so let me run this let's see how does it behave so what i will do i will go to my test.robot right click copy copy path absolute path yeah i will go to in the directory where the scripts are available to me give some sleep here so you can see that sleep three seconds let me run it again so it is open it is closed so our linkedin.com is now open what we'll do next is now uh, let me open this web address here in my Google Chrome. So, what we need to do next is we will uh, what all uh, elements we will learn. We will learn this uh, buttons, how to deal with buttons, text box. So, we will automate some of the elements in this page so i will click on sign in so first i need to click on sign in so i will see what is this so as you can see in inspect element this is a link it is a hyperlink with anchor tag a and it don't have any id but it has text in it as sign in. so we can uh, make an x path of it we will make it like control c controller in chrome also you can make it and you can verify whether your xpath is correct or not just inspect the element and in this uh, this window just click anywhere and press ctrl f so it will open this find or selector or find xpath uh, text box here so here you can verify your xpath so that was a link so a and uh, text is S I G S I G N N sign in. So, as you can see, only one reference is here. Only if you hit here, it will highlight. So, only one reference is here. So, this X path is correct. So, we will use this X path. This is an anchor link. So, but this is a link. So, how can we uh, deal with this? We will see here. So, first of all, what we will do? after opening the page we will write wait until element wait until element is visible visible two spaces control v and one more is wait until element is enabled these two keywords are very important to deal with each and uh, to deal with any of the web element like uh, whatever web element like anchor hyperlink text box radio buttons buttons check box um, and uh, text area and div span if you want to deal with any of the web element so these two keywords you must write because this will this will wait for some time until your element which you are looking for is loaded completely so these two uh, keywords are most important so you must 
we, we must use these two keywords enabled and a b l e d wait until element is visible wait until element is enabled this will wait until this sign in link is visible on the screen and this will wait until that is enabled enabled means any element is enabled means whether it is clickable ready for click or whether it is editable ready to enter any text so this uh, all those things will be uh, done by this keyword means it will wait until the element is visible or until the element is enabled here the thing is these two keywords this will default waiting time is five seconds if you are not writing anything here any timing here so these two keywords will wait only for five seconds five seconds this will wait after that five seconds this will wait but if you want that your page is taking more time to load or your element is taking more time to get load so you can give time time also here like timeout timeout equal to 10 seconds here also you can give timeout equal to 10 seconds so in this case these two elements uh, they will wait for the element to be visible or enabled until 10 seconds and this also 10 seconds but this is different from sleep if you are writing sleep sleep means it will not do anything until 3 seconds if you are as you can see we have written sleep here if i write 10 seconds that means it will not do anything until 10 seconds it will completely sleep the execution will completely stop till 10 seconds it will not do anything but the timeout what it will do is each and every one second it will try to find the element every one second so suppose your element we have given the timeout till 10 seconds and your element is visible and enables in 3 seconds so it will just wait for 3 seconds after 3 seconds it will process the next step because this will pass but it will not wait till 10 seconds but sleep will wait till 10 seconds so better we should use timeout as this is in a hyperlink so how to click on a link using in robot framework so in robot framework to click on a link there is a keyword called ICK click link this is a keyword which will click on the link a hyperlink which is having anchor tag a tag in it so we can use this keyword to click a link and we can use same thing click link this so it will click on the link control s i will save it and just control x i will before closing browser i just keep three seconds it opens see is it clicked on the that link and it is it came here now it close so now we have learned how to how to click on a hyperlink for the clicking on the hyperlink there is a dedicated keyword in robot framework called click link by which you can using that you can click on any hyperlink now our next step is after clicking on the link we need to enter the username and password so those username and password are text box so how to deal with the text box we will learn that so this is our page i have already opened it so if i click on sign in link i am seeing here sign in this element and this element so these two are the text box so let me just inspect this and as you can see this is an input type and type is equal to text so uh, and uh, this is having id is id is user so i will copy this thing and i will go to my pie charm again after this after sign in i will as i told you for each and every element you must use these two keywords these are these two are very helpful so now we need to find the uh, text box username text box and password text box and we need to enter the value there so for all those we will use these two first wait until element is visible and here we have id so we can directly put id sorry control oh, control z uh, id is if any element doesn't have id 
then you need we need to use xpath but if any element has id then we can directly put that id only it will work so username is the id for the text box control v here also username and now what we will do we will enter the username or email id so for entering any text inside any text box or any email type of box or any text area there is a dedicated keyword in robot fanbug is input text input text input text so it requires three uh, sorry two arguments one is your locator in which locator you want to enter and second is value what value you want to enter so input text first locator will be your locator first uh, sorry first argument will be your locator input text username and second argument will be your value so and for the next one next also our text box for this or that also we will do the same thing control b wait until element is visible enabled or input text but we we need to see what is the name or id for that element so if we just click on this arrow hover the mouse on password text field you will see input id is equal to password you just copy here copy this and paste here input text locator name and what is your this password uh, let me put some wrong password here after that after clicking on username and password what you will do you will click on sign in so let me see what is this over, click on arrow over over the mouse to the sign in button this is a button okay this is a button having class time data type is equal to submit it don't have any id so here also we need to use an xpath so this also having sign in sign in text so inside we already have anchor tag xpath just instead of anchor we will write button a u double t o n so as you can see only one reference is there so this xpath we can use so uh, let me copy this control c for the button and uh, this will be the xpath control v this will be the locator for the button because we don't have id so we are using xpath this timeout 10 seconds is not required as i already told you if you really need this your element is taking some time then it is fine otherwise within 5 seconds if your element is coming then you can just keep it like this so wait until element is visible wait until element is enabled this button and after click on this we have for that for the button we also have one dedicated keyword in robot pen work. to click on that button we have c l i c k t o n click button in click button means it is requires only one argument click button the locator of the button if you have id then you can put id like this password or button name or something if you don't have id you need to put xpath of that button so let's see how does it behave this i am giving the wrong password so definitely it will give error but if it, it is giving error that means our script is working some validation error it might give so let's see how does it behave i'll run it again this is open see this is uh, entered this wrong password entered and uh, you have seen the you must have seen the validation error there uh, let me keep the sleep of five seconds then you can see it that our button is clicked and the error came let me run it again so that you can see properly click down sign in this enter this enter c this error is coming that means our button text button is clicked uh, our test case is passed okay. so uh, so let me see the result we can see the result here itself 
uh, in log.html we can see the result just go to log.html right click and uh, open with um, open in browser open in browser you can select any browser as i'm selecting chrome so we'll see the all the steps all it is green that means it is all passed let me go through step by step open browser maximize click the link sign in passed then username username input username passed input password passed button also click button also passed okay so like this we can deal with a hyperlink a text box and a button so now let me use my correct password control s and let me run this again It clicked on a hyperlink sign in it entered the text it clicked on sign in it has gone to the next screen that means our sign in worked so in next session we will learn how to automate list boxes check boxes and radio buttons and what are dedicated keywords available for those we'll talk about uh, the, about the universal keyword which will work with all those elements i will provide you the link of my next video in the description so see you in next video thanks for watching the video please like share comment and subscribe the channel press bell icon for more updates till then stay connected we'll meet again soon bye bye